All right, so this is pretty incredible stuff. I want you to go and Google Zapier MCP server and just ignore the ad, click on the first link that you see there. And this is what just happened. Zapier, which supports hundreds and hundreds of integrations, I just created an MCP server that you can connect to from anywhere, from your, your cursor, Windsor, your IDE, and basically extend the abilities of the, the models that you're using on that IDE. And the stuff that you can build with this is pretty mind blowing. So it's very, very easy to set up. I'm gonna show you right now. And just keep in mind, this is completely free. If you're an individual, you don't have to pay anything for this. So pretty awesome stuff. So when you get to the MCP page, just click on get started and Zapier will give you a URL that you have to use to configure it on, on Cursor, for example. They also include here, uh, you can see the menu. They have a section here for Cursor. So I'm gonna use that. You don't need to use this config directly. You can just use the URL. I'm gonna use the config. I'm going to go to my Cursor instance and I'm gonna go to settings and it's under Cursor settings. There is a section that's called MCP. You're gonna click there. If you have not configured an MCP server before, uh, you're gonna get something like this. So you're gonna add a new global MCP server. This means that this MCP server will be available to any projects in Cursor, not only just one specific project. All right, so I just pasted here my config. And as soon as you close, as I close this file and I go back to the settings, you will see that Zapier Actions MCP with a green dot. So that means this is working. This is awesome, but I'm not done yet. This is where the fun begins. I'm gonna go back to the MCP page of Zapier, okay? And I'm gonna click on Edit MCP Actions. Here is where you're gonna add the specific integrations that you want uh, to give access to Cursor. So whatever you want to do, whatever actions you want to make enable for Cursor, here's we're gonna configure them. So I'm gonna add a couple of them just to run a very simple example. So I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna send an email. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pick the Gmail integration and I created this integration before. You can see here that the account that I configured this with is my, my work account. So I'm just gonna keep that one there. Uh, there are three fields, two, subject and body, and I'm gonna leave those for AI to decide what values to put there. Obviously, if you want to send emails only to one specific account, you can just fix that here. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just going to enable this action. And then I'm gonna add a new action here, and I'm gonna say get weather. So I can get the weather for a specific location. The two parameters are latitude and longitude, and I'm gonna let AI figure this out. So I'm gonna enable this action. Now I have these two actions here. They will automatically translate into tools that Cursor will be able to access. So go back to Cursor, click on the refresh button, and automatically you see that the list of tools now include send email and weather by Zapier. So this is awesome. This is what we need. Now I can open the composer, the chat window here inside cursor. I'm gonna close this file. Make sure you are in agent mode, okay? The agent is the one that knows how to use MCP, okay? So I'm gonna say something like, uh, send me an email with the weather in Miami. My email, address is, and I'm gonna give it my email address. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna click on send and I'm gonna let the agent figure that out. Which obviously the agent, if this works, is going to use the tools from Zapier. So as you can see here, it just computed the coordinates for Miami's location. It called the MCP tool, whether by Zapier, got the result back and now, is sending an email uh, using Gmail send email. Okay, so let me open that to use my email, the subject and the body. 
and you can see here the result of that email was sent. So let me check on my email and let's see if that is true. I'm gonna go back to my browser. Here it is. Zero minutes ago, I got this email. It's called current weather in Miami. That's the subject. And as you can see here, you get all of the information that we got from the API. And all of this was done by an LLM using Zapier integrations. Now, if you go to the Zapier website, you'll see they have hundreds of different integrations. So you can really create something very cool and connect it to your IDE. So what you're coding, you can be using different tools. You can build, you know, a full agent that does a bunch of super cool stuff. So anyway, this was, I think this is pretty impressive. Uh, I've been collaborating with Zapier for a long time. They are sponsoring this post. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, it's free for individuals. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.